Welcome back everyone, my name is Stormy, or Abyss Gaming, or Ian, and today we're jumping into some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies on the Easter Egg, on the Great Leap Forward Die Rise, that is right my friends, we're doing the Die Rise Easter Egg, Richtofen side, it's a lot easier, and I'm going to just jump into who did the Easter Egg, so here we are, we have Lycan Trophy 13, Castle 216, Rider Die Pendejo, and in Science Storm in my other account. So here we go guys, we're gonna jump straight into this. So in order to hear the first step, you need to turn on the power and get oh. some money. And as you can see those lines right there, you cannot t pick up the ball after shooting the ball at the dragon's mouth in the Easter egg. Otherwise it's gonna mess it up and you can no longer continue the Easter egg. It will glitch out. Hey, just so, you all see so that's a big heads up for you guys. So here we go jump in the uh, elevator until we fall and you can see I glitch out in the elevator I was like oh I can glitch out guys just keep jumping when you fall it's, it's funny and I was just like yeah anyway so first steps get the money from the banks and also try to get the power on so here we go uh, we get the power room I uh, go turn on the power in order to hear Rick Toff and Top, only one character can hear it. You must be Samuel, uh, which is this character right here. As you can hear right now. So after turning on the power, it's going to ask you to build the Soliquifier. Uh, as you can see, me and Lincoln are building it on this Soliquifier right now. So he grabs some more parts, I guess you would say. So he's going to go run upstairs and grab some more parts. Uh, the same parts right there is like a stove handle piece or the stock part of the weapon. So that's the, that part. And then the third part is in either three locations in the uh, power room. It's either going to be on the floor, uh, that over there by that table he just grabbed it on, or the back table which he just picked up. Uh, on the second table he got it. So it's like a bottle liquidified thing that you pick up. And these four pieces are randomly placed in those any of those same locations. So he built a silicon fire. Um, he asks me if I want to take it, but I said, "Yeah, you go on, you take it." I messed up last time, so you can have it. <laughs> so yeah, guys. All right. So the next step after building the silicon fire, Rick Toffin will not talk, but he's gonna ask you to stand on four golden seals, and there are gonna be on four of these. Um, Elevators, as you can see, I'm just fast forward a little bit more. I go down, he goes, picks me up. So, there are going to be these four elevators with these four golden seals. Um, had to go take a leak really quick there. And uh, as you can see here, I'm standing on a normal plane elevator that does not have one of these golden seals on them. Um, so, here's the silk fire room. This far left elevator has the golden seal on it. Um, just to prove that it does, I can show you. So, I can see here, I'm on the rooftop. I'm going to show you guys how to do these, uh, four elevators. So, as you can see, this one does not have it far left one here does and we're just waiting for this to go jump on it so this one right here actually has a golden seal uh, that's one out of the four uh, they all look the same so you can't really get messed up the second one's going to be in this building right here uh, just next to where usually pack punch usually is uh, but that's another perk right there the other two are actually in the first building over here where Ryder is um, the other one's actually over here Maybe more important at this particular all this time, time. So there's the speed cola one. Uh, he's going to do speed cola. So that has the same symbol. That is three out of four. Uh, the last one is right here, which is quick revive. These two are actually one of the hardest ones to do because you have to be on them at the right time, uh, specifically. And it's just just a pain in the butt to do because it just takes so long. So just fast forward this up a little bit uh, just to keep it going a bit. So Ryder's like, oh crap, I almost got killed from the elevator. Just knifing the crap out of it. And there's the other one right there. So that's four of out of four of these symbols. So all four players must stand on these. Alright, so here we go. We're going to fast forward. 
So as you can see here, I'm waiting for the double tap to go down. I go stand on the double tap. This is the one I was standing on for this part of the Easter egg. I was like, oh crap. Here we go. And you're gonna hear Rick Hoffman say this when it glows. So Rick Hoffman said something. And you're also going to hear Max's talk about standing on the four golden seals as well, but saying in the correct order. This actually took a while for us to get the find order. Every game you play, there's going to be a random order of these seals. It's the same type of seal, except it's not. I'm just going to go spectate them. There's one over here. Uh, this was the first one last game before we messed up. he just was which is right there as you can see in the ground uh, where I just passed by there's another seal on the floor they all look the same except they're a smaller version of what they looked like before uh, on the ground so as you can see here I have the SVU uh, sniper because you're going to need this for the next step uh, because I did not want to lose any money without later on in the game. So as you can see here, I actually go to the elevator in the second tier, and when it goes down the slope of fire, I did not realize the zombie could come up behind you, and no one could get to me in time when I die, and we need to keep switching on with the characters. Feels, unfortunately. Uh, so here's the actually first seal, as you can see here, it's all the way down the staircase from where the SVU was. It's actually on the ground. You can't miss it at all. <laughs> You'll know when they go in the right order, uh, they will start lighting up here, as you see. If you step in the wrong order, if you see here, if I fast forward a little bit, it turns off until it is the right order. So that is really frustrating to know uh, the right order. So it took us about three to four tries of running around on the third try, third time to try me get it right. So you can see you just did on and off and yeah, can I get this one right? So he messed up again, he needs to run all the way back. And, and just to see here, we're gonna see the other Seals. So he's gonna run down again. So they really got stuck up and were like, oh, okay, we had to restart. We thought we had it. So that was the first seal over there. Um, it's still going non stop. Some of us trying to get some items of the weapons, I guess. Whatever. I, I, I preferred going for the AA knife. Um, right here is all by uh, castle. It is the on the ground there as you can see, and you're gonna see the order here now. So it's the upstairs one first. So that's two out of four. Uh, that was the third one. And now, the hard part is knowing the Majon keys. So, uh, as you can see there, that was the fourth. And you hear Maxis start talking. If you were my. Uh, Rick Toffin talk. Once you've done that, though. We just end the round. As you can see, uh, each one actually represents each symbol of these towers. Um, so there are a random order. Every game you play, the Majon keys or tablets, Majon tiles, uh, they're in a different order. But now the next step, after shooting them, you're going to start shooting these uh, dragons. 
uh, with the balls in them. As you can see, Lycan's about to do so right now. It's waiting on this uh, elevator to come up. So as you can see, here he goes, runs up, and he's about to shoot the dragon balls out the mouth. So you can shoot them, and then you can see a spark in the dragon, like, they explode with, like, this weird... I don't know. And if you look here really carefully, here is a clue for you guys on how to know which side is which to the high maintenance. Here you see here on this side with this map, this is actually the north. Uh, over here is west. So north is facing the main building over there. This is south on this side and this is also east. So that is the order. Once you've actually shot the dragons, here is the hard part. You're going to need to use your liquid fire. Um, so he's looking at the mountain's house, as you can see here. And you can see those dragon balls over there, too. And this took a long time. So now, as you can see, he's going to use the liquid fire, and you got to make them really slippery. you got to stand on the right side to the ball. And start shooting the ball while he takes it away. The zombie. And it spins. It should take 20 to 30 bullets. It, it starts spinning on the. You can hear Maxis and both Rick Toppin talk. And this is what Rick Toppin says. hear Rick Toffin very much at all. He was really quiet there, but now all you need to do is activate these Madron towels. These Madron towels can take about up to an hour or two to probably find them all. Usually about 10-15 minutes to know the right order. So this was an easy easter egg I guess you'd say, and what you get at the end of the easter egg is all four perks, should I say. And he also, the only thing that sucks though about the However, you have who's who, so when you die, you have all the other perks as well permanently for. You have no problem. You're gonna be in different locations every time. Each match on towel stands for a different thing. And sorry if my audio cuts out. So it took us a couple rounds of points as well. As you can see, I was trying to get Jug while he's running around. This is the character who was doing all the Madron Towels. He was the only one who knew how to do these. Get the Galvas, and this is how we do it. So I will be right back. Alright, so we're back and we think we have figured it out at this to this point. That means there's going to be a specific order on how to do this in the high means. Like I said earlier, this one over here is north and he didn't know that this one's north I repeating it. And I realized my mic was muted for about... Okay. So I'll use it. Oh. First non, which is north. 
I guess. I don't know. He's gonna come just why nothing's happening. And we're like, oh no, we need to get the zombie off him. So we went north. So we actually figured it out at the end here, north, east, south. And west. And once you finish the Easter egg, you should have this blue spark middle. And you should keep going through the middle of this tower. Sparking. This was the most hardest part of the easter egg, the match on the tiles. Every time you do this, as you can see, uh, the easter egg pops with this one, two, and three, and four parts of these um, things that are connected, as you can see. So this is going to take a while to keep punching and keep it going. step two of it. So now we've activated our thick now on the blue beam on the high maintenance and this takes a while to do as you can see So yeah guys you should have completed Red Toppin's going to give it a great on cheer about the its perks. Now however you do not keep these perks Permanently, as soon as you go down, you're gonna have two luckily to get to keep the five. But however, if you die, who's who and you die, and who's all six permanently until you buy them all and keep knifing these uh denizens a hundred times. Uh, however, this rectoff inside with also, if you guys want to learn more, there are other YouTube. So hopefully you guys I really appreciate if you guys could drop down a like that would be really appreciated. Also subscribe if you haven't done so. Until then guys, I'll